All right, so this is the first in a series of videos I'm gonna talk about a number of different topics. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, would love some feedback on these. Uh, if you guys like them, if you don't like them, uh, what was clear, what was not clear, uh, if the audio sucks, if I'm sweating like crazy because I just finished a workout. Um, <laughs> that's totally cool, let me know. So one of the topics uh, we get from clients a lot is uh, they'll be doing, they'll be publishing content. Um, this is related to SEO. So they'll be publishing content and not getting uh, any SEO results, not getting any traction in search. And there's, there's really two major reasons for that uh, that are the most common. I mean, there, obviously there's a lot of possible issues going on in search. Search is fairly complex, uh, but by far the most com common reasons um, are uh, A, that there's too much competition. Uh, so brand new companies competing against big incumbents are gonna, have, are gonna struggle for a while. It's really tough to do SEO right out of the gate. I mean, if you're a brand new company, I usually advise brand new companies not to do SEO at all until they're two years in at least. Uh, and the reason for that is SEO has a big brand component, brand awareness component. So Google is indirectly, sorry, indirectly measuring brand awareness for SEO and, and using that to determine how you should rank. And obviously if you're a brand new company, you have no brand awareness. And so all those signals that Google's gonna measure that indicate you are a, a, a well-known brand are gonna be non-existent. And so it's gonna be almost impossible. That's a pretty significant factor in the rankings. So it's gonna be almost impossible for a brand new company to rank unless there's just no competition, right? Vice versa, if you're a big brand, if you're a big fish in the, in the pond, uh, you're, you're gonna have a much, much better uh, chance of ranking. Uh, it's gonna be a hell of a lot easier for you. Um, so you can use that to your advantage. You don't have to try quite as hard as the smaller guys. Uh, so that, that's a big one, the competition. If you're brand new and there's any competition at all, you're, you're gonna struggle for a while. It's typically not a good idea to do SEO for a couple of years if you're a brand new company. Uh, the other big thing that we see, and this, this applies typically to existing companies you know, that are doing ongoing marketing, publishing a lot of content. Um, usually those companies have already been around for a little while, uh, so they're not brand new. And if they don't, if they're struggling to see results, it's usually because they are publishing the wrong type of content. Um, this is a huge topic in and of itself, and I don't have time in this video to go into it in depth. I'll try to cover it piecemeal and in various videos. But it, most companies are publishing the wrong type of content if they're trying to publish content for SEO or, I mean, frankly, for any purpose. Uh, a lot of what we see is uh, organizations will publish content that's like, it's got like a magazine style feel to it. It's like something you might find in, you know, if that organization published an, a, a print magazine or like a newsletter or something like that, it's, it's browsing content. So imagine you see a magazine, let's say like, you read The Economist, right? You pick The Economist up off the newsstand at the airport, and while you're on the plane, you're flipping through, you don't have an idea of, of what you wanna read specifically, you're just browsing, right? That's a very different behavior from how people behave in search. People in search go to search to do a very, very specific thing, right? Hyper-specific sometimes. Something like 60% of all searches have never been searched before. So hyper-specific. You go to search with a mission. You're like a Navy SEAL. You're trying to get in and get out as quickly as possible. And so the content that's gonna to appeal to you when you're in search, when you're doing search, when you're searching Google, is gonna be very, very different from the type of content that's gonna to appeal to you when you're on the airplane flipping through The Economist. And that is often the problem that organizations have. They're publishing content that's sort of like roughly on topic for what they do or for their brand or whatever. And usually it's, it's this sort of magazine style stuff. It's stuff that you might you might read if you were browsing the website or if you were if you received it in a newsletter or you uh, saw it in a magazine, but you're not gonna go to search and look specifically for that content. That's a big, uh, a big miss that we see and it's, it's usually the most common mistake amongst uh, organizations that are publishing content on a regular basis, but still not seeing much traction in search. And if you switch that strategy, I mean, the results you can see are insane, like just dramatic improvements. If you really understand how people search and cater content to them and how they behave. Um, so I'll get into more on that in uh, future videos, but uh, yeah, those are the two major problems we see uh, with, uh, with organizations right out of the gate uh, that really kind of torpedoes their SEO strategy.